196,000 people signed a petition in support of I Am Soldier X. Soldier X was a soldier who took a photograph of me at the motorway service station, which is his right, it's, it's free to do. And then the news reported that he was being discharged. And Janice has today got us permission to hand it in at 10 Danish. The news report said this soldier has been discharged. We built a movement in, in a week. We built a movement showing soldiers from across the world supporting I Am Soldier X movement. He's not discharged. He's now back in training. That young boy, 17 years old, is finishing his military training. So it seems that we've been, we've had a victory. The, all the other soldiers who were pulled in for disciplinary, we've been told are not being disciplined. So we're going to keep a close eye on the situation and follow it to make sure that they're not just trying to please people and then pull him in and try and get rid of him. So what we wanted to achieve is the simple message to our armed forces that people who served before you sacrificed their lives to give freedom. That freedom should be enjoyed by all of our personnel. The freedom to stand at a, a, state, a, a bus stop or a service station have a photograph of someone. And that's what it was. They were trying to use him and, and to make an example of him due to the Muslim Council of Britain. The Muslim Council of Britain made a complaint. The Muslim Council of Britain, who, who actually signed a declaration to say that our armed forces should be legitimate targets of, of jihad. That Muslim Council of Britain. So a, an extremist radical organisation was dictating to our army and our army were pandering. When they saw the, the size of the movement that was created, it seems that they've gone back. That young man now is finishing his army training. So it's a complete victory. A complete victory that was made possible by every single person who in here you have, in here you have a, a hundreds of thousands of names of people who signed up. Those people were ready to become part of the movement in anything we had to do. If we was going to have to protest, if we were going to have to take legal costs. We put solicitors in contact with six members of our armed forces who they were going to try to discipline. And then they must have realised that with the support of the public, which is what this was, it wasn't support of Tom, this was about the public, this wasn't even about Tom Robson, this was about the freedom of members of our armed forces who were being targeted in a political witch hunt to try to appease extremist voices.